on December 26, 2014, I bought Minecraft. I didn't have a PS3 computer or a PS4, so I didn't really have anything that could run Minecraft decently, only a phone. The version of Minecraft was Minecraft Pocket Edition. This version wasn't the best to play or run, and it certainly wasn't the most comfortable with the size of, of the HUD on my mom's old iPhone 4S. Sometime between 2012 and 2014, I downloaded Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite and fell in love with the game. In Pocket Edition Lite, you only had three hotbar slots, infinite durability on stone tools, a selection around 50 to 80 blocks to build stuff with, and the sense of adventure you get from, Mine from Minecraft, but for free. I had heard from some friends that had the full game on mobile that there were dimensions other than the overworld, and I couldn't believe it. I went home that night and watched some YouTube videos and had basically studied anything and everything Minecraft. I stumbled upon a video that explained another Reactor Core and Nether Spire and how these were only in Pocket Edition because there was no real Nether in the game as of that time. I believe there were also only 5 hotbar slots in the full Pocket Edition instead of the 9 we have today. Two years after I had bought the Pocket Edition in October of 2016, there were talks of a new boss known as the Wither. The release of the update 0.16 was out, and this had brought said Wither and the Guardians. Instead of focusing on the main boss they had added, I focused on the Guardians and left the Wither alone. It is now 2020, six years after I bought the game and maybe eight years since I began to have interest in the game. My friend had created a survival world after the B update. We had a world before this, but we had explored too much and we would have had to go far to get more bees. Um, so he created a new world, called Wind's World. We had done so much in this world, including killing the Ender Dragon and Elder Guardian, which I had never done before, building a commune for our villagers and fighting countless raids. We built giant farms, and yet I still have never fought the Wither. My friends and I went to the nether and into our nether fortress, and we hunted for wither skulls for a very, very long time. We had finally found the three skulls we needed to fight the wither, and we got to work on our arena. I guess the only thing left to do is let you guys actually watch the fight. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting ready. Ooh. I was just spawning my uncle on Uri. No, you see a health bar. Okay. I did. In the middle. Yeah. Oh, he just spawned water. I mean, not spawned, but broke some, so it hit water. Where is he? I keep shooting the iron golems on accident. He's up. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, there he is. All the way up there. That's great. Uh, I think he's melee only. Yeah. Oh, and he does spawn uh, withers. Where is he? Did I kill him? No? Ooh. 
Oh god. I have two health. He blew it up. Where's the wither star? Or nether star, whatever it's called. I forget it. Sick. Oh, and I died. <laughs> no, just at the very end, but I had my uh, baby. Alright. Um, as one final note, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm happy my friends and I had dedicated time to finding the schools and letting us all experience fighting both the Ender Dragon and Wither together. If you did enjoy this, consider liking and subscribing. I'm trying to start streaming on Twitch and I'm gonna try to upload more. If you have something you want me to make a video about, go ahead and tell me in the comments. And thanks for watching. In Pocket Edition Light, you only had three hop work. Jesus, it happened again. <laughs> okay.